Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. I want to ask each of you, what do you wish you had said on last week's show, but you didn't? Brad Crow. Well, there are two things, Tom. One, you know, at the end of the show, we were talking about the Register of Deeds Office investigation in Wake County. The News and Observer, Joe Neff, has been reporting on it. Over $900,000 missing over a three-year audit period. And as I said in, in, at the close of the show, I understand the process of embezzlement, that, that peop, the, the act well of greed. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I mean, Are you, you intimately? You it, 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 <laughs> is there something we need to know, Brad? It, it really raises a lot of questions. You have an internal audit system. And why did you not pull, you know, three days out of the year and test what your register said? I'm a notary public. I have to go to the Register of Deeds office and get sworn in. $20 to get sworn in. You have 20 people get sworn in, $20. You should have $400. Is this all about this. you getting your money back? No. <laughs> but, I mean, it raises a real serious question about the audit process yeah. for county government. And, and, and it does uh, it's indict real. the integrity. And, and as you see, it's running into real serious money, and the further back they go, it could pass a million dollars. The second thing, DMV. I went to go get a real ID the other day. And you know, McCrory made a big deal about improving citizen service. Well, I can tell you, it did not work. The Avent Ferry Road DMV, absolute, complete, functional disaster. Really? And how Jesse Torp and General Trogdon can let that failure in customer service go forward is absolutely unexplainable. Interesting. The men in suits running the division and the department need to get down to the ground level and find out how do you fix DMV. Better still, let them do the job for a while. John, what do you wish you'd have said on last week's show? Well, I was going to say something else, but now I have to talk about the DMV office at Avid Ferry Road <laughs> in Raleigh because I've been in there a couple of times with some young boys uh, recently, <laughs> and actually they did very well. Now, this was maybe a year or two ago. So maybe this is just partisanship. Under the Republicans, <laughs> DMV is very well run, and then suddenly the Democrats take over and it goes to hell. Chris, this is degrading. Tell <laughs> us degrading. what you wish you'd have said on last week's Well, I'm not going to talk about DMV, but we did, we did talk about the budget cuts in education we didn't have time to talk about. Not only did the General Assembly force the state board to make what I think are damaging cuts to public schools and support for schools and teachers and so forth, they also included in the second year of the biennium an audit. Well, that's not that unusual. Maybe we should audit things every once in a while. But they built in to that second year a million dollars in savings from the audit. Well, we haven't done the audit. We don't know if they're savings or not. I think it's another example of the attitude toward DPI. They're already counting. They're, 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 they're counting on finding fraud or savings or whatever that we haven't even done the audit. I think it was ridiculous. Didn't Mama say don't count your chickens Well, before. that's exactly right. Connie Wilson, what do you wish you'd have said on last week's show, but you didn't? Well, as a lobbyist, I would have loved if this week for our special session, they would have dealt with all the bills that were still hanging over from the long session that ended June 30th. But that hasn't happened. And what we're hearing is that even with redistricting going on, that the September 6th session is going to be more robust and have more issues popping up. So it's not, even though we're getting a little downtime and vacation time, it's not like um, there's any way we can rest and be assured that nothing's going to happen. Well, thanks for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.